Uh, hi, my name is Iman Khan, and today I will be talking to you guys about female misrepresentation in media. Um, so the question that everyone always asks themselves is, to what extent are women less represented in mainstream media of sports compared to men the last century? This includes sports such as soccer, football, baseball, basketball, and honestly, a majority of all sports. A sport that would not be counted in this would be tennis, and we will talk about why tennis will not be an example of this later on. Um, it's obvious in mainstream media that women do not receive as much attention and representation as their male counterparts do. This is usually due to how in media, people mainly focus on how the main athletes are playing and the way that they score their points and don't really give mind to the female participants. An example of this can be how basketball star Michael Jordan receives a high amount of fame in his playings, but people do not even realize that women's basketball is also a sport. The WNBA is not as recognized in media as player sports, just like Michael Jordan's team is. In this demographic, you can see on the right side how that is the total chart of how many the male to female ratio is in sports. Male takes up 60% while female only takes up 40%. Although this is mostly almost equal, if you look at how much representation both of them receive, males receive 96% while female only receive 4% of sports media coverage. Women first joined sports around 40 years ago when in 1978, the first official football team was created and in 1991, they were followed by the creation of the WNBA for a basketball team. On the right here, we can see a picture of the women's first basketball team that made it to nationals. The Premier League Rugby got started in 2009 and saw uh, an uprise in women's spring football after that. This is another picture of the women's basketball team that made it to nationals in 1986-1987. Women also face inequalities as a whole, not just inside the world of sports. This is what leads to the misrepresentation in sports, but it starts here. They face inequalities such as social and economic opportunities, uh, wage differences and opportunity differences, cultural differences also play a part in how they're treated in the media culture and stereotypes affect that culture as well. In this demographic on the right, we can see that it shows that women make up just 26% of news media leaders while men take up the other 74%. And the it says 46 percent of news stories reinforce gender stereotypes which is eight times higher than stories that challenge the gender stereotypes which is only at six percent socioeconomic issues affect women as well in the industry there is a large pay gap between men and women and that is challenged greatly here in the united states of america the wage difference also shows between how men versus the different races of females as well, with Asian Americans receiving the highest amount closest to the dollar of the mill, which is about 78 cents. Opportunities also, opportunities also differ between the two of them with certain cultures believing that they cannot receive such opportunities as the other ones can. On this demographic here, we can see the pay gap between men and women where in the highest, which is professional and scientific, such as doctors and researchers, the difference between the men and women doing the same exact job is about $28,595, which is a large amount if you think about it, affecting every single type of person. Between 1980 to 2020, the gender wage gap has been challenged a lot, but it has not changed as much. They're saying that the income gap is widening as time goes on with males still earning more and they're not reaching equality as of yet. As we talked about in the last slide, here you can see how the, as the man makes $1, the closest to that $1 would be an Asian woman who makes 90 cents. After that, 
a white American woman who makes 79 cents, with the lowest being Latino at 54 cents, compared to the $1 as a whole. Bringing this back to sports, the wage gap in sports also shows very clearly. Here you can see that the lowest wage gaps would be at swimming, athletics, and tennis, and volleyball as well, with football being the highest difference, as people do not even recognize that there is a female football team due to them not receiving as much attention in TV as you would see in the male Super Bowl and other games. People, when people are asked how come they don't know why that there are female teams too, they blame it on just not seeing it as much on TV. And when asked why they don't watch it, the main reason is lack of media coverage. And that brings it back to stereotypes where people won't prefer to watch men or they're just less entertaining or inferior at sports. The media representation when compared to sports, the announcers are mainly male, about 76%. And talking about the sports coverage, men make up 82% of what you would see on the sports team. Women only make up 11%. When mixing both genders, that would be only 6%. Only one in four people have read in the news that there are women in sports. On the left, we can see the duration of sports coverage by sport type. And you can see that male sport takes the majority of 86%, while female sport only takes 70%. 7% and indeterminate and mixed make up a total of 7%, which is equal to the female sport. This is a quote by Marley Burridge, who is a columnist at the Michigan Daily. She said that the public needs to know that female athletics is just as important as male athletics. Without this understanding, the sports world will continue to justify the pay gap and other inequalities. When thinking of what this means, basically she is saying that if you want to justify the pay gap and you want to bring those inequalities back to equality, then you should acknowledge female athletics as much as male athletics because they are equal, they put on the same effort and it really shows. Female players face harassment when playing their sports, which is also one of the reasons why they have misrepresentation. It's not just in sports, overall, all women in the workplace report that they have been harassed in some way or another at their workplace. In outside of sports and overall in life, 32% of girls report that sometimes that they feel uncomfortable when they practice sports, which is also a reason why many do not pursue sports. This demographic here was posted by a famous artist who wrote many comics that challenged the inequalities of the world. Here he talks about how the difference between men and women when it comes to athletics. In the first one, we can see that the guy would be a talented football player, but if the girl was also as buff and tried to play football, she would be seen in a weird way. In the second one, we can see that the man is strong and the woman is conceited and will not be considered pretty if that was the main world here. And in the third one, we can see that if the boy wanted to play, he would be praised for that, but if the girl would be called a tomboy. It is common in the tennis world and honestly all sports that when a male player is playing, they would ask him how he thought his play went, what techniques he used, and how he reflected that in his actions. But majority of female players report that when they are playing their sport afterwards, instead of asking the same questions, the reporters ask them such things as where their outfit came from, how their makeup did not smear during that time, and what did they use to keep their hair perfectly fine during the game. Cultural differences also play a part in misrepresentation in the sports media. This includes country differences, stereotypes, and religion. The cultural revelation really matters when it comes to this because in some countries it is not custom for women to be a part of sports and they're mainly shown to be have a role in the household. On the left, we can see that in most third world countries, it is just boys, young boys who play sports, while girls are raised to learn how to take care of the household. While on the left, it is common in America for the mix. Stereotypes that really challenge the stereotypes include such as saying that you throw like a girl, which 
demeans and degrades them, saying that it is a bad thing. Religion also plays a part in the sports way because in Muslim culture, it is normal for women to not be a part of sports because it is seen as a manly thing at first. But that is just uh, when people mix culture and religion together because that is not true. On the right, we have a picture of Zahra Lai, who is the first Muslim figure skater, and she became really famous in her country too because it was not normal for a girl to do figure skating. Serena Williams is a good example of someone who challenged those stereotypes and became the top of her sport. Although other sports did not have inequality in their wage gaps and everything, Serena Williams is the highest paid tennis player and she's the number one in women's single tennis right now. She has played against many men as well and she has won majority of the time. She's the highest paid in female and male in both players. In conclusion, to solve this crisis, more representation would equal more equality. Giving, giving screen time to the female players as well would lead to them having more equality and it should, would equalize the situation as well. Giving more opportunities to the women as well to play the sports would help them to get better lives. Do you have any questions? I do have two questions for you. We need to be quick, right? Um, first question, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used? And then how do you know they were? They were actually pretty reliable because they were backed up by researchers who had done research on the topic, like for also as well for the past decade and stuff. All right. And then, um, what advice would you have for other researchers who want to look at this subject? I would say look at not just how sports representation is, look at it as a whole and not just as sports, but as a whole, how society has the inequality against women.